In this video, we're going to talk about the top three programming languages to learn in 2020. Whether you're an absolute beginner wanting to learn programming for the first time, or you're an experienced developer looking for new job opportunities, this video is for you. I've picked these languages based on Google Trends and the results of various surveys and studies. These are the most versatile programming languages that offer you the best job opportunities. Of course, merely knowing a programming language does not land you a job. You need to know a lot of other stuff too, but we'll talk about that in another video. Now, before we get started, make sure to subscribe and enable notifications so you will get notified next time I upload a video. I'm Mosh Hamidani, and I'm a software engineer with almost two decades of experience, and I've taught over 3 million people how to code or how to become a professional software engineer. So let's jump right in and talk about the top three programming languages to learn in 2020. Python is one of the most liked programming languages of all time. Here's a preview of my Python tutorial on YouTube. This is my most popular tutorial and has been watched over 6 million times since last year. If you want to learn Python, I've put the link down below. According to Indeed.com, the average salary of a Python developer in the US is about $120,000 a year. And here's the result of Stack Overflow's developer survey in 2019. As you can see, Python ranks as the most wanted programming language of the year. Here are a few reasons why Python is the most popular programming language in the world. Python is very beginner friendly and is particularly easy to learn for people who don't want to become professional software engineers. A lot of accountants, engineers, and scientists use Python in their day-to-day -day work. Python is extremely popular for machine learning, AI projects, and research. Anyone who wants to get into machine learning and AI should definitely learn Python. Professional software engineers also use Python to build web, mobile, and desktop applications. But quite frankly, Python is not very reputable when it comes to building mobile and desktop applications. We'll talk about the best languages for these kind of applications in a moment. But Python and a framework called Django are very popular amongst backend developers. And on top of all this, Python's code is very simple and free of clutter. Here's a snippet of Python code that asks the user to enter a number and then tells if the number is even or odd. As you can see, the syntax looks way different from other programming languages. There are no curly braces, no classes, and no public or private modifiers. It's extremely simple and free of clutter. This is one of the reasons that Python is so appealing to a lot of people. Here's the bottom line. If you're an absolute beginner, or if you want to get into machine learning and AI, Python is the best language to learn right now. The second language on the top three programming languages list is Java. Now you might say, seriously, isn't Java dead? What about Kotlin? No, my friend. Kotlin is a fairly new programming language with a small community and is often used for new development. There are tens of thousands of projects already built with Java, and these projects are not being migrated to Kotlin. Let's do some quick research on Indeed.com. I'm going to search for Java developer in the US. So as you can see, there are currently over 29,000 jobs for Java developers in the US. Now let's search for Kotlin developer. There are just over 1,000 jobs. Also, according to Indeed.com, the average salary of a Java developer in the US is $105,000 per year. Here are a few reasons why Java is one of the most popular programming languages. Java is used in enterprise software applications. It's used by plenty of tech companies around the world to build large-scale applications. Huge companies like Uber, Airbnb, Twitter, and many others use Java in their tech stack. And this means that finding a job as a Java developer is relatively easy, and definitely easier than Kotlin. Java is also used in developing native Android apps. If you're interested in becoming a mobile developer focusing on building native Android apps, then learning Java makes a lot of sense. Also, Java has been a popular programming language for almost two decades, and there's a huge support community. When you start learning Java, you will encounter tons of resources, forums, and books to help you along the way. And here's my personal opinion about Java. Even if you don't want to become a Java developer, Simply knowing Java and understanding its syntax would be very beneficial because there are tons of great books and courses on software engineering that are based on Java. Most books about data structures, algorithms, design patterns, automated testing, and software architecture are based on Java. 
That is why, in my opinion, knowing Java is like knowing English. If you understand English and can speak it a bit, you can travel around the world. Java in the programming world is like the English language of our world. Now, here's the Python code that I showed you earlier. Let's see what this code looks like in Java. Obviously, the code is more verbose. It's longer. That's why learning Java could be slightly difficult for people who have never programmed before. And here's the bottom line. If you're serious about software development and building enterprise applications, Java is the best language to learn. The next top programming language to learn in 2020 is JavaScript. For the seventh year in a row, JavaScript has ranked as the most popular programming language in a survey conducted by Stack Overflow. According to Indeed.com, the average salary of a JavaScript developer in the US is $114,000 per year. Just like Python and Java, JavaScript is also a versatile language, which means you can use it to build various types of web, mobile, and desktop applications. But JavaScript really shines in web and mobile application development. Using JavaScript and React Native, you can build cross-platform mobile apps. So instead of building a separate app for iOS or Android and maintaining two different code bases, you write your application once in JavaScript and build it for different platforms. You have a single code base to maintain. That's why a lot of companies these days prefer to build apps this way because of the reduced cost. Of course, if you want to leverage the full power of a platform like iOS or Android, you should build apps using the native language and frameworks for that platform. For iOS, that is Swift, and for Android, that is Java. But again, most companies prefer cross-platform solutions, and that's why there are more job opportunities for JavaScript and React Native developer compared to a Swift developer. JavaScript also has a huge community, and whenever you get stuck, there are plenty of people out there who could help you. And here's the bottom line. If you want to become a web developer, or if you want to build cross-platform mobile apps, you should learn JavaScript. So let's quickly recap. The top three programming languages to learn in 2020 are Python, Java, and JavaScript. Python is best suited for machine learning and AI. Java is best suited for building enterprise applications. And JavaScript is the language of choice for building web or cross-platform mobile apps. If you want to learn any of these languages, I put links down below. I have tutorials for you here on my channel. And if you want to learn more, I have complete courses that go way beyond the tutorials on this channel. All my courses come with a 30-day money-back guarantee and a certificate of completion that you can add to your resume. With all that, what programming language do you want to learn in 2020? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it with others. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day or night wherever you are in the world.